Hey everybody and welcome to Miss D's Pantry. Today I am going to do another Chef Reacts video and I am reacting to, hello? I am reacting to, um, to I'm reacting to this video from TikTok uh, a lot of people have asked me to react to. It's this woman making some macaroni so yeah, let's get started. And crusty. Since you fucked up the macaroni and cheese, <laughs> you're cleaning up all this shit by yourself. Junior, Dejan, nor me are gonna help you clean up. We told you don't put that shit this in the macaroni and cheese. This must be the family reaction. So since you wanna do things your damn way, we gonna do shit our way. We get ready to go upstairs <laughs> and go to sleep while you clean up all this shit for Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. We love you. But guess what? This shit ain't fair, and we couldn't even get a decent thing of macaroni and cheese. We gotta wait and go back to Goose, but she can't really make us some damn macaroni and damn cheese. Cause you decided to do some bullshit you didn't see off the damn internet. Don't experiment on damn Thanksgiving. Don't experiment on Thanksgiving. You experiment by your damn self. Cream cheese Yeah, don't try it with us. We don't want that shit. Auntie oh. Karen gave you the damn recipe, but you chose to do shit on your own. You <laughs> Okay, well, we know uh, in, in Thanksgiving, the most important element is not the turkey, but the macaroni and cheese. Uh, so, uh, messing that up will really put a damper on the whole Thanksgiving dinner experience. I'm not sure why she put 12 eggs in there. That is a lot of eggs. At most, you put one egg. And the egg is just used for a binder to bind everything together. Because when you bake macaroni and cheese, it's more like a baked uh, casserole. Some people call that a macaroni and cheese casserole or something. Um, or baked mac and cheese. Uh, but you don't need 12 eggs. No, that wasn't even 12. Did she say she used a dozen eggs? That's a lot of eggs. It's going to be a very eggy because uh, all the eggs are going to do is cook. So it's going to turn out like a quiche or it's it's going to it's gonna be kind of gross, I'm thinking. Um, and then it was really crusty. Like it sat in the oven too long, right? Because when she scooped it out, it wasn't kind of liquidy or anything. That It sound, seemed like she used a couple different cheeses, one of them being cheddar, which has a pull to it. And that, uh, there was none of that there. So when you bake it, you don't want to bake it too long. Like the, the, the noodles already cooked, the cheese just needs to melt, and the egg is there to bind it all together. So it's not like you're cooking it for a very long time. Uh, and, and sometimes you don't even need to use eggs, to be honest. You could just bake it without it. Um, I'm assuming the second part, again, was her family reacting to it. Either that or a totally different video altogether. But, yeah, it it, it, it looked like uh, she's not getting no help uh, cleaning up because she messed up the macaroni. I heard something about cream cheese. Uh, mm, I, I've never tried it, so I can't say that it's not good, but have you ever had cream cheese in your macaroni? Uh, yes, it turned out bad. 
Yeah, uh, I would assume that cream cheese kind of melted into macaroni wouldn't be so great, but yeah, that sounded awful. Well, um, if you guys want me to react to any other type of um, cooking videos, then you can go ahead and leave those in the comments below. I will put the playlist down in the description for the other videos that I've reacted to. I'm starting to get um, some interesting requests, especially the last one I did. It was very strange. So um, make sure you like, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.